Welcome to MugsModels.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can center a bar in a four jaw chuck quite simply by using a simple system. I've not set this up so I'm just going to center the bar which I've just cleaned the surface off earlier and we'll see how we get on. First job is to tighten up, but loosely, all the jaws of the thing. Next we want to get the dial indicator as close to the chuck as we can without it fouling the jaws. So we should be alright there. The process is quite simple. You find the high spot. I could zero this um, dial indicator by adjusting, but I'm not really going to be too worried about that. If you notice, that's gone down and that's gone up. So the highest part is about there. So we look at the jaw that's at the highest part. We immediately go to the other side and loosen that off a little because it needs to pull against that jaw. So as we've loosened it off a little, we tighten down and we look to see how we're doing now. So it's a bit better. Go to the high part again, which is there, number one on mine, so we need to release number three a little and tighten number one down. Now you can see we're getting a little bit better. Find the high spot. And this time it's between two particular jaws. So all we do is the opposite two. We loosen them up a little, not too much now, it's getting closer. And the other one a little and then we tighten the two that were showing high. Check again and those two are slightly high and we may just get away with tightening them because they're only loose to begin with. Check that. If we do two jaws I always just without putting any tightening on it, check that the bottom two are tight. Right. Now we look again and we are about three thou out. So it's those two which are a little bit more tight. Find the high point which is number three. Again, not too much slackening off this time. Now we're two throw out. Find the high point. Number four. Tighten that one up. Four again, a bit more on that one. <clears throat> and you may get some imperfections in the bar itself, but I'll zero this so you can see it. Exactly a little bit clearer on what we've got. That's one thousandth coming back. So there's a thousandth of an inch there. We'll tighten that one just a fraction more. If we can get it. The highest point on the gauge, whatever the jaw is, 
you go to the opposite jaw and you loosen the opposite jaw and tighten the highest jaw. If you come between two jaws, as you will do, then you just simply note the two jaws you've got highest, you go to the other side, you loosen them off a little, you tighten the two at the top, and then see what you're out of again. And that's how you do it. Any more information, just go to mikesmodels.com website where there's lots of information for you. Thank you. Now you've watched the video on how to centre a bar using the four jaw chuck, I thought I'd just show you a practical application with this flywheel that I'm turning between centres for uh, Edgar Westbury's four cylinder petrol engine, the seal. I had to remove the flywheel to do another particular job. I wasn't worried about putting it back. Uh, because you do get, with a four jaw chuck, it's centred as, as well as you can. And if you look at this remo revolving, you'll see very little, certainly not de detectable, uh, that that's centred on the face that I'd turned previously. And I'm not worried about the fraction that it does move, purely because this isn't to the finished side, so there's plenty to go yet. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about Edgar Westbury's seal and how I'm building it, then go to mikesmodels.com where you can see a lot more. Thanks for watching.